Hey, what's going up, guys? I'm back at it with another video for you guys. Um, I'm doing my this video. I've been doing my other recent videos in my uh, niece's room mainly because the lighting is a lot better in here. So I don't want it to be like super dark like it is in my room or like in the living room. The light isn't that great. So if you see like this kind of background, like the girly kind of background, it's it's my uh, niece's. Um, bedroom so yeah that's where i've been doing my videos lately so this video is going to be um a raiders preview video for the for the um ravens game that's coming up um this sunday man it's gonna be a big test for us guys um i mean f for one the thing that scares me the most about this game is that Mendelik watson and austin howard are both out so Matt McCants and uh, Vidal Alexander are going to have to step up. They played really well last week, and I'm glad that we have two like solid kind of linemen that can just step in. But, I mean, uh, Vidal Alexander hasn't played too much, so if he does get the start, I hope he can keep like Terrell Suggs and, and those, other DB, those other defensive guys um, away from Derek Carr because our offensive line has done such a great job not allowing um, any sack. I mean, we've allowed like two sacks, I believe. One was not really a sack. Uh, Derek Carr just ran out of bounds um, behind the line of scrimmage, so that counted as a sack. But besides that, I think only one sack we've allowed, which was last week. So that's my opinion, guys, on the offensive line kind of situation. Um, Something else that I, I really want to pay attention to is Elvis Dumerville is going to come back. I'm not sure how healthy he's going to be, but um, man, he's a, he's a, he, can wreck, he can wreck an offense um, with his ability. So that's something to look forward to as well. It kind of sucks that he's coming back against us, obviously, and it's at Baltimore. Um, I've never really seen, I know Baltimore's crowd. Any kind of home crowd is going to be uh, an advantage for the home team. But, I mean, um, Baltimore, I, I've never really seen too much, like, crazy kind of fans, you know. But they, I bet they can get pretty loud. So, um, it's going to be a tough environment there, especially since they're 3-0, you know. It's going to be even more tough. Um, this is going to be kind of a proof, uh, kind of proving game for, for both teams, you know. Are we, uh, are we capable of, like, making the playoffs or... Um, and, and winning on the road uh, we've won three straight road games um, going back to last year so that's nice to see people came on bringing back oh this is your record throughout the years like 15 and 60 or whatever on road games but I mean like that shouldn't really like matter like this season is this season you know and so far this season we're undefeated on the road and um, so yeah man that's gonna be tough uh, this could be our toughest kind of game so far man um, Tennessee was kind of tough last week but I like expected that kind of win um, I didn't expect it to be that close but I did expect the win um, and we got it but this week man it could go either way man Oh, man, this is gonna be tough, man. I'm really scared for this game. Like, I hope we win. If we win, that'll be so huge, man. You won't believe how how happy I would be if we get this win. Um, Amari Cooper has been doing this thing, you know. Uh, Michael Crabtree, surprisingly, you know, he's surprising everybody around the league that he still got it. He's being consistent. He's actually been more of a safer playmaker than Amari Cooper has. You know, Amari's still dealing with that uh, catching kind of stuff. Like, he's still dropping balls here and there. So, um, he needs to get that fixed. But, you know, he, he's Amari, so he'll get that fixed. And, and he's he's still, like, our deep threat kind of guy, you know. So, I think they'll have their their day with, um, with those cornerbacks over there in Baltimore. Um, so uh, I think they'll get their fair share of catches, yards. Um, it's just, ah, man, I feel like this is gonna be the game that Khalil finally gets his um, his first sack, guys, of the season. Cause um, I don't know, I just have a feeling like this is gonna be the game. So I hope our defense shows up. Um, you know, Sean Smith's gotta keep on doing his thing, like continue his energy that he had last week, um, as well as David Amerson. David Amerson, man. Um, at the beginning of the season, I was like, man, like, was it really worth paying him that much money um, for, and giving him a contract extension? But, man, he's been balling now. Like, uh, if there's anybody on the defense that, that has always been there from the beginning of the season to now, it's been David Adamson, and I expect him to do that throughout the season because, man, he's just been playing lights out. So, um, David Adamson's going to be doing his thing like always. Um, 
Carl Joseph, he he ignited our kind of defense last week. Um, I'm glad he finally got his chance to go in there and and show what he can do. Cause man, even though he didn't, he got like a few like nine solo tackles. I think I think he led the the team last week. But um, I know he didn't do as much as just tackling. But I mean, he you could see the spark that he gave our defense. So yeah, man, I, I feel like this game. I know we're gonna be able to put up the points. I know it's gonna be tough going. To Baltimore, but I feel if our defense shows up, I feel like we can we can not easily take this, but we should win this comfortably if 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 our defense and um, if our defense shows up, because I know our offense ranked second, get a freaking putting up like over 480 yards per game, um, which is absolutely crazy, man. I hope it doesn't slow down against uh, Baltimore this week. I don't expect it to really, but um. Yeah, man, that, that that's pretty much my pre, um my prediction. If I had to pick a score, um, I don't know, man. I'm just not really comfortable yet picking Oakland. I know a lot of people are gonna be like, "Oh, you're a Raiders fan. How can you say they're not gonna win?" I want them to win. You don't understand how bad I want them to win. But at the same time, I'm like, I just don't feel comfortable enough. So I know it's gonna be a close game. I think Baltimore's gonna end up taking it, guys. Sorry, but if I had to choose a score, I feel like maybe. 31 to 24 uh, Baltimore it's gonna be a high scoring game um, if not the other f way flipped around I if we somehow stop them um, I feel we'll win 31 24 but I have to see it to believe it you know guys I, I I'm still not trusting our defense as much um, I know it was good against Tennessee last week like really good but Come on, guys, that's against Tennessee. Like, this is Joe Flacco, Steve Smith Jr. I mean, Senior. Sorry, I keep on saying Junior. But, um, yeah, guys, this is going to be a way bigger test than last week. Like, so far, this is going to be the toughest test. So, um, I'll see you guys on Sunday. Um, this is going to be a big test, guys. Like, I keep on saying, I can't stress it enough. Um, I hope Oakland, um, like, the Oakland fans always travel well. So, I hope they do it this week. Um, so it won't be too bad. So uh, yeah, man, I I'm gonna go 31-24 either way. But for right now, Baltimore, Baltimore should, should not should, but I could see them winning this game. I could see Oakland as well, but I'm just gonna play kind of like conservative and, and go with Baltimore here. I know I want to pick Oakland every single week, but I mean they have to prove me right. You know, they have to prove that they, their defense is back. And, and then we'll see what happens, you know. So um, I hope they go 3-1. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace, guys.